Parrotfish are a group of around 90 fish species that are regarded as a family. They're found in coral reefs, rocky coasts, and seagrass beds. They also play a significant role in fire erosion. They're named after their bright parrot-like colors and bird-like beak, yet not one species of parrotfish looks like another. Mucus Sleeping Bags Parrotfish build sleeping bags made of mucus. Before they go to sleep every night, some parrotfish build a transparent cocoon made of mucus. This mucus comes from special glands that they have in their gills. These mucus cocoons keep them safe from bed bugs, like parasitic isopods that attach to sleeping fish. These sleeping bags may also help mask their smell from predators like moray eels and sharks. Big Appetite Parrotfish are prolific eaters and therefore excretors. Using their beaks, parrotfish eat coral at a jaw-dropping rate of 20 bites per minute. And once you eat, you excrete. The digested remains of a coral skeleton come out the back end of a parrotfish in a plume of sand. Scientists believe that parrotfish feces contribute to a lot of the coral sand found on reefs and even help to form reef islands. A single parrotfish can produce an estimate of 90 kilograms of sand each year. They are the main contributors of the beautiful white sand that lines the shores of our beaches. Metal Teeth Parrotfish teeth are harder than many metals found in Earth. Some divers can hear the sounds of the parrotfish chewing in coral. It is thought that they are after the algae that grows in corals. Some research suggests that they are also eating the bacteria and microbes that live in corals. Their powerful teeth are fused to their jawbone. The structure of their teeth is so sturdy that it would beat gold, silver, and copper, as expected of a fish that has a diet of stony calcium carbonate corals. Gender Fluid Parrotfish are gender fluid color changers. They change their sex throughout their lives, swapping between male and female as they grow. A male will generally defend a group of smaller females and supply sperm to all of them to fertilize their eggs. But as the females grow, they will often change sex and then challenge other males to lead the group. This process is known as Pertigonous hermaphroditism. Each time they'll change their sex, their color changes quite drastically as well. Full Moon Parrotfish woo each other by dancing under a full moon. Hundreds of parrotfish gather by the light of the full moon and engage in a process called like mating. Males bash their heads together to defend their territory and then put on shows to the females parading by. Together, they spawn their eggs and sperm into the water and fertilization takes place. False Myth Parrotfish play quite a complex role in the coral reef ecosystem. Their diet is mainly algae, which grows inside coral polyps. To be able to eat the algae, parrotfish tear chunks of the coral and grind it up with their teeth. This led people to falsely believe that parrotfish are damaging to coral reefs. Recent studies show that they actually may play a role helping bleach coral recover by eating the algae that prevents coral growth. Do not eat One of the near-shore reef fish that are popular for sparing and eating are parrotfish. These brightly colored blue and green fish are easy to catch and make a nice meal, but they are dangerous to ingest. A parrotfish's main diet consists of the algae that grows in corals. This algae contains a toxin called ciguatera. Since they primarily eat this alga, there are high levels of ciguatera in parrotfish. For this reason, it has been said that people should be careful while eating parrotfish as ciguatera can make them extremely sick. Parrotfish are basically algae-eating filter fish that turn toxic algae into beautiful white sand. By shooting and eating them, you would be contributing to their already depleting numbers and the death of many coral reefs. Well, that's all for this video, guys. If you liked watching it, like, share, and subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for watching.